Hi, welcome back again. Uh, I forgot to mention that you have to put here when, right? When or often, or how often, when to back up, right? So that you need a backup every day, every week. But for our purposes, I chose Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to back up. So later you will see uh, why that's important. And also, some people I've read online is they make this one their backups um, external, external hard drives because they want to minimize the spinning of the disk because that's a very critical disk right so you might as well put it always on a safe uh, environment okay it's up to you but for our purposes we won't have external hard disk anymore so now i already started a uh, virtual box okay this is an ubuntu lucid links 32 bit this is are going to be our test subject and it's a freshly installed nothing is uh, fancy here i just changed the wallpaper so that we won't get confused so first of all uh we will going we're gonna use a script okay so what's the process of uh this whole thing okay let's uh put it here okay uh, let's draw something here the process is first of all we're gonna need to uh, use sudo uh, edit etsy crontab okay because sudo crontab is uh, automated uh, schedule to back up certain things now from this crontab we're gonna run uh, we're gonna run a script so that all the files are placed there I call it backup.sh it's just a simple script you don't need um, programming experience okay really it's a uh, very um, simple and finally um, if we if this two we have them and the cron tab uh, it's gonna run the backup script and when when it's gonna run right cron tab uh, it depends on the time okay while well, the backup is our, our actual backup backup files okay so let's start it so now that you have your machine for example this is your server okay if you go to um, the terminal and I will type here uh, sudo fdisk-l okay as you can see the same setup is found here as what I told you here okay the sudo the 200, the, this virtual box has a 250 gigabyte boot swap root it has a home but it not necessarily 250 and 1 terabyte it has a different size and it has a third hard disk that's called backups okay you can see it here uh, just take my word for it it's an SDA it's 80 gigs and our next device is SDB this is the home I think this is also 80 gigs and we have the third device which is 250 gigabytes which is the backups okay I hope that's clear to you we have here one uh, we have here one hard disk two hard disk and a third hard disk okay so I just copied this uh, set up over to this hard, um, virtual box so we will now type sudo gedit etsy cron tab okay this is we need we need the cron tab with root user privileges because remember we're gonna back up boot swap root so it has root own files okay 
so this is the crown tab I'm just gonna put something here okay so do, just follow me and I already have the cr the files crown tab and backup but we're gonna work this step by step okay so first of all this is the only thing that I need here okay never mind this okay Okay, so I'm just gonna close that. Again, this is the newly opened crown tab for this virtual box, right? And I'm gonna paste something, a command. This simply means that on five o'clock, it's the hour. Zero means five o'clock. Every day, okay. The root user will run the script media backups backup dot sh. Okay and where where do you find this okay actually it's not media you find it in backups okay i have i have here the file the folder backups if we go if we go to our file system there's actually a folder backups okay this is also our partition this is the partition the third hard disk this is the boot partition this whole thing is the root partition and this is the second hard disk and this is the third hard disk they're just mounted under one file system as you know Linux that's how it works right so under the back back ops uh, we will create something here uh, folders for our backups okay so first of all let we will I'm just gonna close that window we're gonna make the oops we're gonna make this our own okay if we go here ls dash l so you can see the backups is owned by root we're gonna change that okay we're gonna type sudo chown bart this is my user okay bart um, backups so that we can create folders here in, in under the backups okay so under the backups I'm gonna create something create folder um, Monday okay I'm gonna also create Tuesday okay I'm just gonna create Wednesday I'm gonna create Thursday I'm gonna create Friday uh, what else I'm gonna create Saturday and Sunday okay Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so now now that's done the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna go over to Monday and I'm gonna create a folder called boot for our boot files and create a folder named root for our root files and also I'm gonna create um, evolution this is for my email okay and also gonna create um, MBR this is for our master boot record I'm on the next tutorial I'm gonna explain to you what the MBR is and the boot and why why I chose this for okay also in under the backups as I told you I don't have a lot of space so this home folder I'm just gonna put it I'm not gonna back up my home folder every day because that if I back up that every day there will be five terabytes or seven terabytes for the whole week so I'm just gonna put here a folder called others and under the others I'm just gonna put here home um, I'm just gonna be extra careful so that when something happens in home I just have automatically have it under my backups but I don't have extra backups I just one I just have one backup for this so you might be very careful for that also uh, what's one more thing about uh, oh, what do you call that one more thing that we need to be careful is rsync okay when rsync is happened 
when you delete the files in your in your backup hard drive and you have a cron tab that runs every 5 pm if i delete if you delete something here it might get r sync and it might also delete it here so you might be very careful that's one backdrop of r sync but there are it's very powerful okay so on the deck next video i'm gonna show you um how to continue the backup process